So I bet you're all wondering what happened to episode 13. Well, I'm happy to tell all of you that 13 is the very first episode to be properly skipped. Basically, I retain the option to skip episodes that I believe are complete filler. Even in this season, which has had pretty good filler episodes, there's some episodes that really don't have a lot to talk about and are just there to fill up time on a schedule. 13 is one of them. Honestly, I tried to figure out something I could say about episode 13, especially considering it was the debut episode for Alolan Raichu. And I love Alolan Raichu. Oh, I love regular Raichu as well, but still, Alolan Raichu is pretty cute. But still, there's not really much to say about it outside of it being pretty good filler. So what not much to say, and just a plot synopsis, and not even a decent intro. It was just a skipped episode. So yeah, now I explained why I'm not going into that episode. Let's go into the episode 14 where Lily gets her very first Pokemon. Let's do this thing, shall we? Yuki no We start off the episode where the last episode ended with Lily's egg hatching into an Alolan Vulpix. Lily tries touching a new Pokemon, giving it the name Snowy, but feels that familiar nervousness and retracts her hand. Just then, Samson Oak walks in revealing that the other egg hatched into a regular Kantoian Vulpix, leading to some Fire and Ice personality stuff between the two Fox Pokemon. As everyone wonders what to do with Snowy, Mala decides that Lily should have it as she was the one that raised it as an egg, but she's a little too nervous, despite the fact Snowy actually wants her to catch it. Lily Mel does manage to catch the Vulpix, however she still has her doubts about being a trainer, but determines herself that she will overcome her innate fear of Pokemon. After school is over, Lily decides that she would walk home today, trying to use the time to understand Snowy. As everyone departs, Mal decides to drag Ash along with her so that she can follow Lily and make sure she's okay. After some time, Team Rocket comes across Lily and Snowy, and Jessie of course falls in love with the Alolan Vulpix and decides to try and catch it. Ash and Milo search for Lily, having lost her when she entered the Milo Shadow shop, while Team Rocket stalks her from outside of said shop. As she leaves, Team Rocket attacks and Lily tries her best to flee, using Powder Snow to trip them up, and she manages to get herself cornered on top of a roof. Trapped against an edge in a fall, and Team Rocket approaching, Snowy tries his best to defend Lily, but ends up falling back from an attack off the edge, and Lily jumps in after it to try to brace its fall. Ash and Milo catch up, and Riley uses Leafus to stop their fall, with Team Rocket prepping themselves for a fight. However, Snowy freezes the group up with Powder Snow, and Beware comes in and snatches the group away. Everyone begins to realize that Lily is in fact hugging Snowy, and that she somehow managed to overcome her fear somewhat. However, the next day when they test it, Lily still is afraid of touching other Pokemon, and can only touch Snowy so far. Oh well, baby steps and all that. So as you can see from the episode length for this, well, episode you're watching, the episode that was reviewed was pretty fairly simple, but it was an honestly good one. Having Lily overcome some of her fear is pretty good, and as I said, baby steps. This is something that really wouldn't work if she got over in one big step, but having her make small steps throughout the course of the series does show some character progress, which is pretty good. Lily's bond with Snowy also worked, having seen her multiple times taking care of the egg, at least in the background, to make it feel believable, as we do know, at least from the example way back in Generation 2 with Lavatar and Johto, that Pokemon can somewhat see and understand things that are going on outside of their eggs. Again, for example, Lavatar and that whole plotline. Now, there's one thing I don't understand that's never really explained. The flower pattern on the egg. I guess it's nothing more than an artistic choice, but in the anime at least, most egg patterns are related to the Pokemon inside. You know, they'll have some fur pattern or colors that are simple. But considering the fact that Alolan Vulpix are pure white, I guess just having a pure white egg wouldn't really work. And so they gave it a flower pattern for some reason, despite Alolan Vulpix not really having flower patterns on their fur. It's just kind of a weird thing to have, and I don't want to point it out, but it kind of rules the consistency the anime was going for with their egg designs. Anyway, there are a few things that I didn't get into in this episode, such as stuff that Team Rock was up to, such as a cute moment where Jesse gives Beware some Alasada for taking care of them, as well as, you know, Team Rock is various fighting and banter stuff. Again, this is another episode where Ash didn't do much of anything, 
But considering that it was a Lily focused episode, that fits the point of the episode. Ash doesn't really do much, he's just there to because it kinda has to be his main character. Overall, this is a simple episode, not a lot to say, but it's enjoyable and pretty cute.